Right, my Kenmore washer um, is filling, but it's not spinning or draining, and I've diagnosed that as being the lid switch um, uh, is broken. That's what the lid switch looks like. So normally when you put the lid down, there's a little plunger on the inside of the lid, and it will hit a little tab that should click. You can hear it clicking right there. And that is that uh, when it clicks, that uh, completes an electrical circuit that allows um, electricity to flow into the machine and it, it does what it's got to do. Mine, my lid switch is broken, so I'm just going to swap that out. Very, very straightforward. The lid switch sits underneath this, uh, uh, the, the top of the washer um, on the bottom. You just unbolt it and unplug the electrical and, and put the new one in. It's very, very straightforward. Uh, to get at it, you need to pull the, uh, the, the top of the washer off the, the frame, the body of the washer off the frame. To do that, um, all these washers work in one, one of, of a couple ways. Mine has a plastic uh, cover on each side of the, the top of the washer. There it is in place and there it is off. And then mine has a little uh, screw down there. I just unscrewed it. And then underneath, you can this will start to lift up. If you look, um, let's see if I can show it. There are, you know, there's little, uh, you can kind of see it through there. There's little plastic um, tabs on the cover that that fit into holes, and uh, you you can either just pull this back and up, or if you want to get like a like a scraper tool like this, this is overkill, but it's what I had handy. You can slide it under, and it will um, push the, uh, the, the 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 slot back. Right, there it is, uh, pulled out and lifted up each side. So the screws, you know, inch and a half long, no problem. Screwdriver. Um, the what I talked about before is here, there's the plunger that's on the lid. The plunger presses into this hole and knocks the uh, switch back. And you can just, to test it, just stick a screwdriver in there. If you hear a click, it works. If you don't hear a click, well, it's broken. The lid's up, the cover's up. Uh, so now there are these two uh, metal springs on one on each side. Just um, press a screwdriver in on that side and then uh, to release it. And then you want to uh, be, what you want to do now is pull the whole body of the machine off. So these, these um, clips keep the body in place. So just um, uh, release the front and then just take a screwdriver and press in the back and uh, push, the, push the clip down and out of the, the back. I'll just do that in a bit. There are the two clips. You can just see the, the back, the right hand side fits into the, uh, the metal notch right there. And then the, the, this part fits through the, the two notches in the front and keeps the uh, lid in place. Then very important, you need to undo the electrical connector. Before you do that, unplug the machine. There it is unconnected and you can see there's the new one and there's the old one that's broken. And there's a little tab on this just uh, push it up with a screwdriver right there and it'll release. Then very simple, just pull the uh, lid, or sorry, the, the, the frame up and out. And uh, when you put this back in, you'll just have to uh, make sure that you get it onto the, the tracks on the bottom. Uh, I'll start this again with a light. So there's, there are the tracks down the bottom. Uh, I found when I've done this before, I had to really um, just kind of tinker with it until I got it figured out. You'll, you'll, if you take a look when it's coming off, you'll find getting it back on is a lot easier. Okay, my lid switch has two uh, screws on the inside of the, the washer. So just unscrew those. Um, and then you'll find there's a ground wire. Um, I'll show it to you on the replacement part. Uh, right there. So that requires a little wrench. So just undo the, the ground. Uh, bolt and then the two screws go in there okay those two holes there's the uh, lid switch and the uh, the ground unbolted from the underside of the uh, the body right, there's a little metal clip just uh, lift that up with a screwdriver there's what that clip looks like so uh, that part just fits over the uh, cable uh, and then that little bit slides into uh, part of the uh, Part of the frame. There's another uh, metal clip uh, for the wires, cables, and then there's two tabs on each side. Just squeeze them and you can push the uh, component through. Right, there's the old and the new side by side and just replace um, as you put it in. When you put the switch back in, just um, feed a, uh, one of the bolts or screws from the inside and then use that to line up the new uh, the new uh, uh, part. 
And there it is reinstalled. I found it was much easier screwing it in from here. And then just to test the sound, a click. Yeah, you can hear that, okay? Um, reattach everything, all right? So get the uh, electrical uh, reconnected into the, uh, the part. There it is. Um, close the lid. Well, the, whatever the electrical lid. Um, and reattach everything and we should be good to go. And a small tip, when you put the springs back in, uh, this the, far, the front part feeds in fine. What I find is um, you have to align the, uh, the tab with the slot, and then you really have to bend this bit forward until they, the two line up and the, the, not, the slot fits, in, or the uh, notch tab fits into the slot. And then just to test it out before I put everything back, um, I've got it on uh, the, uh, where are we? Got it on the spin cycle, so hopefully when I shut the door, there we go. Okay, jump down. Good luck.